Has Lucky ever met another owl? You'll find out in this video, so stay tuned. by uh, Briggs Knight and he asks if Lucky has ever met another owl. Yes, she has, but there's something you need to know. Yes, there's something that people need to know. Ah. Owls that are fully imprinted on humans don't get along with other owls. If you want... Ah, Lucky, come back! <laughs> If you want an owl that gets along with other owls, you'll have to do a dual imprint. This means that you're gonna ask the breeder to let the owlet stay a bit longer in the nest with its mother and siblings, and only when it's a little older are you gonna start imprint imprinting it on you. As it grows up, you're gonna keep it with the other owls you want it to get along with. Obviously, these owls need to be about the same age because the other owls also need to be a dual imprint. And you can't put an eagle owl and a barn owl together, for example, because for the eagle owl, the barn owl is just a delicious appetizer. Another dangerous example would be to put together a barn owl and a little owl. The difference in size is just too big, and in nature, these species would just eat each other. The bigger species would eat the smaller species, of course. However, it would be possible to imprint a barn owl and a rufous legged owl on each other. So, just to be clear, Lucky does not get along with other owls, but she has met other owls. How is that possible, you say? Well, when we go to falconer's demonstrations, all of the owls are put together but they are always standing at a safe distance from each other, so they can hear each other and see each other, but they can't touch each other. Now, when Luki is at a falconer's demonstration, she doesn't really pay attention to the other birds of prey. She prefers to just enjoy the environment. She likes the excitement and the attention she gets from people passing by. So, Luki does meet other birds of prey at falconer's demonstrations, and I have also had a little owl once called Yoshi. If you don't know the story behind that little owl, then I will link the video to that story in the description box down below, because I have made a video about it. When I had Yoshi, Yoshi would stand in one end of my studio and Luki would stand on the other end of my studio. So they were always at a safe distance. They would look at each other once in a while, but if Yoshi would come too close, aka if he would put her too close, Luki would go into defend mode. So she would have definitely attacked Yoshi if they would have made contact. And that's all there is to say about this topic. I hope this answered your question. If you have any further questions, then you can always uh, ask them down below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to share it on your social media platforms so that our passion fruit family can grow even more. And also, don't forget to check out my owl and unicorn store because I sell super cool stuff there. <laughs> the links will be in the description box down below. I hope you have a nice day, guys. Bye!